I'm Jim Lynch. Welcome to this week's edition of Top of World News. Remember, please like and subscribe. Also, follow me on all types of social media. Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. Now let's get on to this week's topic. It's the end of May, and graduations either have or are going to be taking place very soon. Even though they are virtual in most, if not all, places. That got me to thinking. I, like millions of other parents, are homeschooling their children. And even though the kids drive me insane, I actually do enjoy it. I'm going to be 48 in August. And I can honestly say that I do love what I do. And personally, if I knew everything was going to turn out to be exactly the same, and I was going to wind up with the same beautiful wife and the same beautiful children. I think I probably would have gone into actually teaching school and coaching wrestling. But to be quite frank, I didn't take the steps necessary at the time when I was getting my education to be able to meet those goals. Whether it be through not wanting to change, not wanting to do the work, not wanting to take chances. But, as I say, I'm going to be 48 in a couple of months, and I've learned one thing. If you're willing to make change, something good may happen, or something bad may happen, but at the end of the day, if you don't change, nothing happens. And that can go for somebody who's able-bodied or someone that's disabled. I know a lot of disabled folks that I meet and that I work with, they're not willing to change or they're not willing to take a chance because of their disability. Because they don't want to be hurt. They don't want to be embarrassed. They're not willing to fall and get back up. Whether that be literally or even figuratively. They're not willing to take that risk. But again, nothing happens without change. There's an old saying that my grandparents used to tell me. Actually, actually two sayings. One, youth is wasted on the young. And if I only knew then what I know now. If I knew then that I was going to enjoy teaching so much and coaching so much you know and I was still going to wind up with the same wife and the same beautiful children would I have done things differently? maybe but again I didn't take the steps necessary when I had the opportunity to do so when I had the support system when I had family that was willing to help me when I didn't have a mortgage and bills and cars and a home and all the things you have to take care of as an adult. Guys, you're going to be graduating in a few weeks if you haven't done so already. You're between the ages of 16 and 22. This is the time to start taking those chances, taking those risks. Because a lot of you have a support system that you can fall back on and be able to see what you'd like to do. Take advantage of that internship. Student teach. But take advantage of those opportunities. If somebody's willing to, to teach you something, open those ears. Take advantage of the opportunities that are before you. Because when you're 48, the, the opportunities are far less frequent. And the opportunities, quite frankly, come with a lot more risk. Because every decision I make affects my wife and affects my children. So, you know, there are decisions that get altered because of the input of those three other people. A lot of you don't have those, those hang-ups. You can take those risks. People regret 
things that they don't do, not the things that they do do. They look, they always, a lot of people will look back and say, I wish I would have. Okay, they're, they're not, very, very rarely do people say, God, I wish I didn't do that. Sometimes, but more often than not, it's the other way. I wish I would have, and now it's too late. I say it to my kids all the time. Don't go into an endeavor saying, I wish I would have. I wish I'd worked harder. I wish I'd done this. I wish I'd done that. Leave it all out there. Give it everything you have. If your goal is to be a garbage man, be the world's finest garbage man that you can be. But don't leave any stones unturned. Okay, uh, back at it again next week. I'll see you soon. Everybody be safe, and hopefully we'll be back and uh, be a little more than virtual someday soon. See you guys later. Never.